here's what's happened so far. The search for the orb continues. The hill has arrived in the kingdom, in the crystal kingdom of Sniffleheim. Sorry, I kind of forgot how to pronounce the word. Where the blue orb is set to be. Unfortunately, they find everything in the city frozen solid. From the castle gates to the citizens themselves. And no sign of the orb anywhere. Queen Frizzabelle explains that this is all the work of a wicked witch who haunts the Hexwood to the east. The party set out to stop her, but she manages to make her escape. They pay a visit to the Royal Library, where they find a book about her. A book that casts some serious suspicion on Queen Frizzabelle. When they return to the city to, to see what she might have to say for herself, their fears prove to be all well founded. She was Crystalinda all along. The Wicked Witch is no match for the combined might of our heroes, however, and once she's been dealt with, the city and its bureau people soon thaw, and the real Queen Frisabelle is freed from her presence within the Forbidden Book. She promises to reward the party with the blue orb and returns to the castle to retrieve it. Let us go there now. Indeed, let us go there now. Hello everyone, my name is Dane Rue. Welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Yes, I'm still getting used to recording stuff again. Last week was literally only the beginning, as I get used to this stuff. But having to play three RPGs in a row can make it very difficult. Uh, yeah, yada yada. And that. Yes, we know about the orb. But now that things have thawed completely, I must now explore. But treasure the bound that awaits me. Any minute now. Treasures uh, here soon. Damn it, where are the all the treasures? They have not given me any treasures. I mean, the treasures behind the building. Yeah. <laughs> that's not behind the building, that's right in front of it. Yes! A seed of deafness! What about over here? At the item shop? Behind is nothing. Fuck you, snowman. Nothing. Nope. Those are unbreakable pots. Maybe upstairs? Nope. How about you? Okay, nothing. Oh, book! Book, book, book. There's the treasure hunter, blah, blah, blah. Extraordinaire, had to help him. Have to get home, blah, blah, blah. Stay on together. Okay. Another book! Rough Planet Guide to Sniffleheim. Snowflake's Tiny, Massive Ice, Snowfall, blah, blah, blah. Damn it! Another book. Hey! Platinum Power! Platinum Sword, Power Sword Lances, and Platinum Claws. Even better. Yes! Finally! Something obtained! What about in here? Ooh! Nothing? Why are you in here if there's nothing for me to obtain? Pointless! Pointless! This isn't pointless. Ah, I knew it. Mini metals. I remember this here. Yes, what do I get? A royal ruby. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, uh, taco thing. Oh, someone's garter. Haha. <laughs> nice. Sun seed sand. Wait, what? Well, the perky young. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is not something to be reading. Definitely not something to be reading. My character's eyes have been scarred. Alright. Let us go and claim our reward. Uh. What was that, Serena? Did you say something? Hmm? No, she did not. I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. 
Uh, I think it's important to know if someone stopped me, yeah? Known to Sultan, yep. Now to explore the castle. Yes, I'm aware that there's an orb nearby. Oh, elevator. Oh, oh, hi, pardon me. I'm exploring down here. Don't mind me. Darn. There's a chest in there. Woo! What's this? Savvy Sapphire. I go great with the ruby I found. Woo! Met the mini! And a panacea for free. Alright. I uh, will have to come back later when I have the key to open up iron gates, apparently. Because having a magic key doesn't do it. Ooh, file of Lunaria. Ah, oh, I can't go down. Well, that just means I have to head back up and go down the other way. Or go up the other way, I'm not sure. And up we go! It's very interesting to see the fact that they got actual mechanical elevators in a, in a cold region castle. Oh, Queen's Bedchamber, I see. Oh, ho. what kind of fight? A, a bloody tuckle. If it isn't the Luminary, it's just a damaging in a spot to singing. Helps the speed and torch and all. I love it to pass on the password I found. Hooray. Room of Revival, nice. Well, I'm clocking off and trundling back to Tuckington. Tuckington, I mean. I'll take this. A uh, nobleman's knife. Oh! And it's slightly stronger than my current weapon of the Icicle Dirk that I just spent money on. Why not? I have to keep note of using the Icicle Dirk's item form, though. Just in case. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Wow, Veronica's falling yes, for this everything. Didn't you? Hmm, something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the Queen before anything else strange happens. Uh, sure. It was the old switcheroo trick, wasn't it? Thank you, my friend. If not for you, Stefanheim may have remained frozen forever. If I see eager to offer you her own personal things. And your reward, of course, you will find up the stairs here. Hello, Queen Frizzabel. Ah, excellent. You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffelheim. If you will just come a little closer. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Huh? Huh? Please stop. <gasps> it's more well pronounced now. Not me. Don't believe her lies. 
Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. She's lying. The Wicked Witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Uh... Everybody, calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. Really, Snorri? You couldn't do it the first time when the entire place I was frozen? Ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. <laughs> the book. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue orb. What else could it be but something so valuable? You fool! Hmm, the orb, you say? Very well, very well. Now um, then, what say you, the book? What is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, Ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Yeah, that's the queen, all right. Precisely. The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book. No, she's a liar, you fools. You imbeciles, can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. Very queenly. <laughs> and it's still there. Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <sighs> <laughs> oh, she dispelled it. Oh, I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Wow, it was very welcoming of being Man, killed. Take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> right of the weapons. We shall kill her if she does anything. Wait. Your Majesty, what are you doing? What are you doing? This witch clearly tried to screw everything. All right, let's talk. You and me. I get set back. Okay. Queen Frisabel, please step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Okay, story. That's kind of classist. Come on now. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Hers is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. Uh... Please. I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Okay, Queen, she that's a hard thing. Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Re really, Veronica, you're falling for this too. Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. 
If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. <laughs> Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, Part of a trade? was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. Mordigan. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. To me, of all things. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. What? Whoa! Jasper, that is so cold-hearted. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. Which is fair. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? Jasper. His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Hmm. Do you know what he looked like? Maybe that might help jog the hero's memory. Thank you once again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. Oh, how delightful. Now I can progress the story. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Veronica, didn't you just hear what she said in the books? As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Or, you know, turned into ice dust. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her. I was talking to the queen, not you. All right, now what do we do? Ah, head east with the snare felt and climb through the first forest to open the path to Yggdrasil. Hey! Uh, I guess it's time to do my magic. A uh, snarl felt. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, I guess I can't use my magic from here. No, I'm out. I got things to do. Creatures to hunt. I forgot to press X for a moment. <laughs> Creatures to hunt. And a legendary thing to go and obtain. Pardon me, all of you. <laughs> Eric. Loitering by the docks, Eric. 
None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? Yeah, we got the orb. We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. I mean, that's a fair point, Rab. It'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think he could mighty have Sir Hendrik? Himself, do you? Really? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Did we do? Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Egdrasil. <laughs> it's not even in the sky right now. I think it might be over to the right. Uh, hello there. Hello. <laughs> Crevens, <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? It went from being an important thing to Ooh, this. Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. <laughs> Silvando. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Uh, you have no idea, Veronica. What are you doing out here anyways, man? Oh, just gonna walk on by. But, 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 but wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. Yeah, the articles. <laughs> That's what Jenny and a poor. The articles, I tell ye! <laughs> ah, it sounds just like what my brother used to say. Cool. Now we can actually go through it to the snarl field. Uh, yeah, this way. Into the snarl field. It's the only way to be sure we can proceed forward. Let's go! And I'm over. Yes! I have the power to run over the darn evil cats. Now I can actually go to the first forest, if I remember correctly. I just need to take north. Or east from here, right? Hexwood up. A Borean Highlands is where I need to go. And a nice hard turn. Ram into him. They will all die to my horse. Okay. This way. I need them. Where are you? Ah! Boldness! Ow. Uh, back. No, not a vacuum. Uh, leg sweep. Get, knock him down. Darn it, it's a ghost. I forgot about that. Holy hell! Okay, that was pretty terrifying. Whack! Well, that didn't work. Whack! Of course she gets the easier attack. Ha! 
Don't mind me. Come on, Rap, you got this? Yay, he did it. <laughs> nice. Ooh, boom. I'll take this, thank you. Don't mind me. I gotta go around. Ah, yeah, there he goes. I have it over here? Nope. Okay. Ah, oars. Close. Platinum ore, blue eye, and more platinum ore. Run over them, every single one of these things over. Oh, there's gotta be something else over here. There's really nothing else over here? That's depressing. Don't oh, mind me, just coming through! Okay, that's actually pretty hilarious. Yes, let's make camp. Uh, okay, got done with my camping for the night. And I had to do a lot of work on uh, plenty of items, so I decided just to skip it. Oh, hey, it's that black dragon that the story was mentioning about. Anything around here? No? Okay. Let's just charge forward. Kill these guys in the process. Okay. To the Arborean Highlands. Uh, hold on, I had something. Here it is. The perfect means of travel. Oh, hello. Don't like how some of these enemies look. Thick isn't thick incense. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, darn it. Run! Aha! Group of runny exoskeletons. Okay. Crack and smash! Uh, boom! Definitely useful. Crackle. Snap, crackle, pop! Oh god, they got a chance to move! A uh, swoosh! Kill him! It still lives! And it got two turns in a row! <laughs> Hey, Veronica leveled up. She learned Oomphal. I'm gonna use it. Okay. Jump! I'm learning the area. Items. Treasure chest up there. Yes. Ooh, Madame Mini, how perfect. 
Ah, excuse me, pardon me. So sorry, don't want to jump with you guys right now. I'm currently jumping for someone else. Just keep jumping. We're almost out of here. Yes! Got through. Without dying so far. Oh, this is a nice place. Gives me final location vibes. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? It's breathtaking. Eh, uh, wouldn't say it's breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Really, Veronica? Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. Anyone can always think their first home is dull. The highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we, so we have time to prepare. In Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the luminary has come to visit. Sure, everyone will be happy up until this place goes up in flames. I know that's ooh item. I know that's not a metaphor. I fear for this place with for uh, my existence. Mindy Metul, perfect. Uh, that's a lot of sheep. Nothing special there. Set on up. Oh, great and glorious Idrisil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered what? leaves yeah. fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. Oh, One it's the birth of a child, that's why. And another begins. Oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Ah, it's a birth. It's a rite of passage for being born. How sweet. Ah. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Still Everyone performing the cult stuff. Well. It seems a bit weird. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not taller when last we met? Uh, it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. Behold, it is I, the knight. The luminary. <sighs> Can it really be? I've come to give your entire oh, place what a, a destruction. Day this is. Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus. High Priest of Arborea. And I have waited my whole life for this moment. Oh, have you? Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. Yeah, his name is Mordigan. 
I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Sad to say. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. And then tragedy strikes as you fell. It caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. I'm not so sure about that, old man. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. Six? I thought it was only five. I'm pretty sure I only have five. Let me count. Uh, red, blue, purple, orange, green. Oh, no, it's six. <laughs> Treasures abound. Not the way Grove of Repose. That is definitely not where I want to go. Break things. See the sorcery. Hello there, Mr. Luminary. I took my ticking time, but I found a password here. Go ahead and say it now so you make sure you're paying attention. Interesting. Pantry. Alright, have fun. Item. Nice. Celestial skin. Nothing of importance. Huh, it's not much here. I say that, but I find a treasure chest. Fainted Soma. Ooh. That seems to be the only thing in here. Darn it. Ooh, what's this? The supplicant. <laughs> Hello there, little thing. Little tuckle. Alright, goodbye, people. Alright, let's keep moving. In here. Surely the sound be something. Yes, the stairs, I found them. A lot of rotation. Oh, magic water. Ooh, I could grab some some uh, magic waters. That might help out with the future. Oh, hey! Cute. Um, let's see. Trying to avoid having to go up to the main building. So let's go here. Hey, I think I already came through here. I did. Darn it. <laughs> Alright, then what's over here? There's a treasure hunter. How do they find it over here? Okay. Well, I read through them all now. Elephant elixir. Nice. I think that's like the best for the time being in terms of MP restoration items. My brain is not functioning at full throttle right now, so sorry. Yep. Obtain. Burn of Saint Ashes. I got a, I got the corpse of a saint in my inventory. Ah, I see. You're the one who's gonna block my way. All right, let's go talk to the Holy Father. You have all six orbs. Well, honored luminary. Shall we proceed? 
I guess so. God, he's a slow walker. These pictures, they're incredible. They're also terrifying. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Erdria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so far, I assume it's not succeeded. And so, the World Tree marked out one hey, among the children for greatness. Erdwin. Oh no, Erdwin. I said Erdrick. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. I do not trust that in the slightest. As for Mordekin, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. Well, are we going to get to the first forest or not? I guess so. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Don't worry, we will probably not die. Anything I get here? Good look about. Larry, there's nothing here. My sense. Fall. Reckoning. The Ascension. Okay. Well, time to go defeat the great evil by absorbing the power from Yggdrasil herself. I shall become the true legendary luminary. Right? Or sailor? Ah. Why are there aliens here? Ah! Taking this. Ooh, met the mini. Run. Run, especially since the dragon's chasing me. God, why are there so many big enemies here? <laughs> we save do, 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 do. what's going on with your hair Jade yes I plan on continuing let's go forth okay it's literally a path of I can only walk oh, that's fair me Flat ore, plat ore, and silver ore. Nice. I'm just trying to avoid the encounters as much as I can. Uh, 
And item over here, thick incense. Ah. Ooh, magic circle. Uh, I believe that's essentially a boomerang. Weird shape for it to be, but essentially it's supposed to be a shock room as well. Ah! Uh, run away! Oh. Safe. Oh, not safe. I now have to go through the first forest. That is a lot to run through. Can I... Nope, can't use horse sailor. Which means I need to make sure my stops are nice and plentiful. By that, I mean ignoring as many enemies as I can in order to get all the treasures. Losers, you can't get to me while I'm on the vine! Ah, yes, a treasure chest. I was right. Ah, another corpse. Ah, pardon me. God! Mastodon, huh? Nice crit. Too easy. Whack him. Uh, it's a good thing we got two people who know who know whack. Kill him. See? Very easy. Hey, fairy fluff. I'm okay. I just gotta keep holding the R2 button to run. And occasionally jump. Okay. Nothing of real interest, just explore around. God. How to outdo the undead. Zombie Slayers. Uh, first things first. There we go. I want to investigate out here on this side first. Wait. There's an item over there. Risk it for the biscuit. Nice. And now we go forward. All that traveling, and I get a treasure chest finally. The molten globules. Ooh, liquid metal slimes. Must there must be some here. I just have not found one yet. Ooh, let's go. Vine time. Me, me. New enemies, let's go. Right balls. Attack. Can we get an insta kill? We can. Rap, finish the job. Good work, Rap. The people told me this was a bad type of build setup. With Rab and Jab using claws, me using two swords, and me having Serena equipped with a lance. But I'll show them I'll show them what. You don't always need to be the perfect healer. Plus we're getting close to our goal, so that's even better. Need to explore all about. There's a Dragon? Uh, I'm not really sure how to feel if it saw me. Well, 
hey. Oh, 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 well, you are old, Rab. Oh. Uh, mm. oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? Yeah, why not? Oh. <sighs> Ooh, nice big camp tent. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Eh, don't be, Veronica. He looks a little weird. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Aww, are we really going to be playing that? I can't skip. <laughs> Aw, isn't this it's snow just nice? So magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? It's in the roots. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? We can only hope so. Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Why would he think a flute would help us? Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Sounds like a good idea. Really need to hit up the goddess. Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the same time, too? Questioning the life and mm, death. I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. Wow, <laughs> Veronica. <laughs> but I hope they do. Aw. I have a feeling they won't now, just because she said that. All right, got us a little bit of sleepy time. I need to save. Do, 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 do. All right. Yes, I'm going to finish up today's adventure. It's time to go and kick some Morgan ass with the legendary weapon, I believe. I was right to go underneath. Midi metals. There's a perfect type of thing to find. Shit. There we go. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Huh? Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah, why not? Oh, oh, they're lifted. Wait, what do we get a white orb? Oh, right, the sea orb.
Oh my god, we gotta race on Rainbow Road? You kidding me? You guys got good carts and hopefully you got two good turning speed. We're going on Rainbow Road. Seriously, what makes it think that that's a good bridge? It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. Who knows how safe this bridge is? There's a well nearby. Why is there a well near here? Oh. Okay, that's why. It's my fast travel back down. <laughs> Yggdrasil, do. Oh. I said I wanted to talk to you. Who <laughs> just. Who said I wanted to talk to you, Serena? After the heart of Yggdrasil. A lot of things to find here. Hey, a proper Ygris leaf. I just took someone's life. <laughs> ah, yes, a leaf from Ygris. Wait, I just plucked. Does that mean I just killed someone? And what a matter. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, it's about the same size. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? Mm. It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I want to touch it. No, bad Zavando. No touchy. Nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. <laughs> What'd you expect? It's the source of our life. I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. I guess that means me. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The sword of light. No, oh. honey. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. I'm more Only preferred to my it. swords. Only you can save our world. Hmm. Alright, alright, Gramps. I got it. <laughs> I can't even tell if it's glowing. <laughs> it's all got me up. To me! Sword of Light. Ah, how noble. Oh, he is unconscious. We might as well seal this back up. <laughs> Jasper! Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? How were you following us? <laughs> Yeah! Uh, 
Magic barrier. What was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? I'll wait until you see how we fight, Jasper. <laughs> Uh can't move. The black orb. Now tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life oh. shall be your place of death. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we are doing this here. Your journey ends here. Concentrate. Uh, quick lineup change. Wait. Yeah, no, this is good. First things first, Older Brigger! Four stunts! Uh. Stop his magic casting! Well, that's not good. Uh, Dazzle! That's also not good. That's definitely not good. Okay, he's not being affected by magic whatsoever, so... Wait. There we go. Oh, this is not fun. Uh, so you know what? Uh, righteous rain. I have no idea what to do. More. Uh, wait, hold on. Above. I'm multi heal. My true power. Ow. Wait, where did my costume change? What did all my what did all of us get a costume change? Aura. What, what is it? Good question. It's a power, the like of which we've never seen. Could he be surely not? Surely, yes. I love the fact that the battle music's still going despite the fact that, you know, we literally lost. <laughs> So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Yeah, what you gonna do to it? Not one step further, Jasper. Hendrick? Hmm? King Carnelian? Huh? 
Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world! Uh, there's a problem here. <laughs> he doesn't even speak. Confess, scoundrel! Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. Go, Hendrik! <clears throat> and backstab. <laughs> How did I guess it? You have served me well, Hendrik. Oh. You, you, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? <sighs> <sighs> Damn, that must be some very, very dampening dark magic. Really? That's evil? Damn, dude looks pretty terrible. My dear Jasper. It seems you have snared us a luminary. Very impressive. And by terrible, I mean like actually bad. It like, you know, bad designing. An honor to serve you, as always. <laughs> Lord Mordigan. <laughs> always the one for power. Mordigan? So the king was... He was Mordigan all along. And he was possessed by Mordigan. Hmm. Now, Luminary, you are in my power. And soon, your power will belong to me. Uh, who said I... Who said I'm giving you my power willingly? Uh, now we got CGI. Could you please not do this? Uh, I guess not! <laughs> and he just ripped out my chest bead. So, this is the power of the luminary. That unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. Why aren't we stopping him? And this blade is the fabled sword of light. Not very fitting for the Lord of Shadows. It looks like he put a lot of flesh onto it. Source of all life. Yield your power to me. Someone stop him! I'm not a fan of the bone blade, though. No, this can't be happening. I mean, it already is. If it yourself falls, the world will. Uh, you mean like it is right now?
Uh, yes, please. <laughs> we've got to save here. And we're going to stop after this. So to everyone who just tuned in to watch this entire shit show, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Consider giving a like. Check out my channel for more episodes like this, and I will see you all in the next video. Please be safe out there. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.